right, so this is an exercise that I want to uh, show you and you can break down and you can actually do this at home to work on your swivels. Um, oftentimes, if you can find a wall or a counter of sorts, you just need a platform in which you can place two fingers like this. It's very light. I don't want you to be heavy against the wall. So just two fingers. And the idea first is that you're going to step side to side. So right foot to left foot. And the wall is there or the countertop or the table is there as your stabilizer. Now once you get to let's say the left foot, I want you to practice pivoting your body. Maybe it doesn't have to be a complete straight line, but just a little bit on the angle to the right. And you're going to push yourself to that right foot and you arrive there with your belly button rotated or turned outward. Then, using the wall for stabilization, see if you can pivot yourself back to the left so that your belly button faces all the way back to the step where you came from and project yourself once again. So the idea in this exercise is that you're breaking down the difference between a step or a weight shift to a rotation. A rotation is just on the axis, you're not stepping. We have a step, rotate. A step, rotate. I would also love it if you can actually pick up your feet to do this because once again, you're strengthening your uh, balance in the foot and the ankle. Um, this is essentially what's going to happen in our swivels for the swing out. Once you get a little bit better at this, you can start to take yourself away from the wall and see if you can do the same exercise, pivot and step. Woo, you gotta balance, pivot and step. And this is the feeling that we should have when we're doing swivels. One of the main problems that arises when followers are doing their swivels is they get stuck between which foot they're actually on. And sometimes that can make your swivels look very wide and almost as if you're wearing a diaper. So you've got this kind of waddling action. As a personal opinion, I don't think that's, uh, that's as nice. I also think that it's, uh, it's important to practice this idea of closing your legs and collecting your balance and then pivoting, yeah? As I do this exercise at home, I can experiment with the fact that my head is not going to rotate very much. The collarbones and the shoulders do have to rotate a little bit but actually the belly button and the hips are gonna go much further. It's possible that my feet might go further as well, depending on how much flexibility I have. So when you see this again, you should be able to tell that my head is relatively center. The shoulders get a little bit of rotation and the hips uh, below the belly button, they actually experience more rotation. I think it's important uh, to feel the chain or the flow go down through your body. Another mistake that some people make is that they think the whole idea of the swivel has to be one piece, like this. And that's where sometimes we can get uh, too stiff and too locked up in our bodies. As, a, as an exercise, you can also sort of enjoy, if you, if you get a little closer to the wall, you can also enjoy how much flexibility you can experience. How far can you push your hip? If anything, just to see what that feels like. And so this is a little bit of an exercise that I would encourage all followers to do to activate the full torso and to work on pivot, step, pivot, step, which is a breakdown of how to do swivels.